This is a random corridor that we see all the time. Not only it's boring, but also it's a little bit scary. Let's transform it to a better place. A space that is modern and actually you like to walk into. First of all, I'm going to delete all of these lightings and objects in here. So select all of them and with this filter, and check this door and also these walls and okay now you can delete all of them then i'm going to select this wall and in its setting i'm going to go to this preview and then i can delete these strips we have a classic profile and also a rectangle one and also i'm going to change its material to something default for now Select the floor and go to its edit type and also change its last layer to a default material. I'm going to also delete this ceiling and move this one down to here. We're going to start with creating a unique lighting for this space. So go to file and create a new family in linear lighting fixture sailing based set your units first now we are going to use reference plan in both side of this lighting in here and also in this part then with this line dimension we're going to set it exactly in the center and equal to the center line Select one of the dimensions and turn it into a parameter. We are going to call it length and also make it instance so you can change it easily in the project. Select the other one and let's call this one width. You don't need to make it instance. Okay. Now let's make it a little bit smaller. Then we are going to create a new void extrusion. Select this rectangle and do it exactly on these lines and lock it with all of them. Now hit finish and go to 3D view. In here we are going to use cut for deleting it from this sailing. Now let's go to ref level again and this time create a new extrusion. Again with this rectangle and exactly on these lines. Lock all of them and hit finish for this one we are going to create a parameter for its material so click on this part and let's call it material now let's go to left view and see what we have this is the line that we have of our lighting so i'm going to move it very close to our ceiling probably three or two millimeter is enough i'm going to turn it into a dimension with this and then lock it now if you look at this part you can see that the lighting this extrusion is a little bit under our ceiling if you want you can also add frames for it i don't want to add them in here so i'm going to use it simply like this then i'm going to select it and set its extrusion to one or two centimeter and also let's move this void down to here Perfect, this is our lighting. Now let's load it into our project and put it exactly in this part. Now let's go to its 3D view and put it in a selection box. This is our ceiling light and I'm going to use a line to set it exactly on this part, this corner. Let's see if its permits are working correctly. This is its length and let's change it to 1.5. Perfect. Now let's go to its edit type and change its width to 3 millimeter. Also for its material, I'm going to create a lighting material. So create new one and let's change its name to light simply. And if you go to this part, asset browser and scroll down a little bit, you can find these lightings so select one of them and check this use render appearance to see its color this white color in here okay and okay 
you can see it's lighting later in the render now let's move on to the next lighting create a new family this time in linear lighting fixture wall based this is kind of like the previous one with a little bit difference so for this we are going to go to placement side and in here first of all we need to set the units select this lighting and rotate it remove its constraints and then lock it again with this line in here then create two reference lines in this part and also in these two sides then put them exactly in the center make them equal and create another one for their parameter and do the same for the other side now select this one and let's call it width and for this side we're going to create another parameter which is going to be our length we can again make it instance now let's make this width a little bit smaller and create a void extrusion with this rectangle draw one exactly in this part and lock all of them with the reference lines hit finish and let's go to the 3d view in this part we are going to use cut for deleting it from this wall then we are going to go to placement side again and this time create another extrusion again with this rectangle and in this part exactly now hit finish and create a Parameter for its material. Now we are going to go to left view and set them in their exact place. This is the line that we have the lighting on, so I'm going to move it very close to this wall. Create a dimension between them like this and make it really small, probably again 2 millimeter, and lock it. If you select this extrusion you can see that it's a little bit more and it goes over the wall so i'm going to align it with this wall and lock it we also need to do this for the void extrusions so if you go to 3d view you can find it in here and then we are going to move it to this part and lock it now this is our wall based lighting and we can load it into the project let's put it simply in this part now if you go to its edit type we can set it on again three centimeter and also select the same material that we created for the other light for this one too now i'm going to use this align for locking it with this ceiling in here and after that if i change its length to for example 1.3 you can see that it will move only in this way also i'm going to align it with this lighting in here and lock it now if we go to the 3d view we will have something like this there are two ways that we can fix and set these lightings in these corridors so first of all i'm going to select this lighting and extend it to this part okay and also do the same for this ceiling based lighting then i'm going to create another one of these for this wall so for this we need to go to the 3d view and then i'm going to create similar in this wall and then i'm going to align it with this ceiling and also with this lighting then we need to select them all and go to the first level now we are going to copy it all the way in this corridor like this yeah even with no material this looks much better let's work on its material for this floor, I think it would be good if we use a texture and material with very less pattern. There are a few options that we can use. 
if you go to ambient cg you can find lots of them for example you can use tiles something like this probably something like this but make them a little bit bigger you can also use marble this one maybe or this one if you want it to be a little bit dark you can go with something like this i'm going to use this marble for the floor this marble number one now let's select the floor and go to its edit type for its material for this layer we are going to go to appearance tab and select the color texture of the material that we just download if you click on this image you can change its size i'm going to go with 50 centimeter and let's see how it looks i'm going to make it a little bit bigger probably to 1.3 okay much better for these walls i'm going to go to its edit type and i will choose a material from this asset browser so if you go to this paint you can select something glossy for your walls i'm going to go with this one I also want to use the same for these tailings too. So I'm going to go to its setting and select the same material, this one. Let's go to Inkscape to see how it looks. While we're waiting for Inkscape, if this was helpful for you until now, don't forget to like it. This is what we have in Inkscape and actually it's not what I expected. So I'm going to select this wall and go to its edit type. And I think we can find another thing from this paint section. So if you scroll down to here, we can find this white powder coat in here. And let's see how it looks. Perfect, this is much better. You see these lightings in here, we only have them in this part in the center. It's because this is our main lighting and this is the lighting material. If you want this part to be exactly the same size as here, you need to go back to its family. And for this one, let's go to this front view. So if you select the lighting source, change its length from this part as you can see it's set on this exact number so if you click on this part and set the length that you just created before this one you can set it exactly with this size so if we load it again to the project and overwrite it you can see it disappears from this part and just do the same for this wall based lighting too select the source and change it to the length that you created and load it again perfect about this floor on the other side i want it to be a little bit reflective so let's go to the materials and to this floor check this reflectivity and increase its closeness if you want you can also use a texture for this part i'm going to continue like this for now okay a little bit more perfect you see these lightings in here it is much better if you increase this closeness you will have more of them another design that you can do with these lightings for corridors is to use them randomly so for this we need to go to 3d view and let's make it a little bit bigger okay now i'm going to first delete some of them from these parts and for example for this we can change its length to 1.5 for the other one i'm going to go with 1.5 this one could be in 3 and its sailing could be on 15 centimeter and you can just continue with this now for the other side first i'm going to delete this one and then this one and also these two create some other ceiling based lighting like this 
and then align them with these lightings and if you want you can add some more too I'm going to add one to here and another one to this part to this part we can also add some paintings to this wall probably some details to sailing and some greenery to these parts and finish our design so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial if you want to learn more about revit don't forget to subscribe bye